Students at five Bucks County schools were not in class today. The closures came after the health department learned about a private gathering at a home in Bucks County. Someone with coronavirus attended that gathering. The schools that were closed are a high school, two middle schools, and two elementary schools. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands is in Warrington at Titus Elementary to explain. Shante. Jessica, we've learned from the school district that now all evening activities as well as all school buildings will be closed throughout the entire weekend across the district to allow for deep cleaning. I'm just scared for my family and like friends. I don't want to get like, I don't want to be sick. Brooke Carrigan is in the sixth grade at Titus Elementary School. Her school, along with four others, including Butler Elementary School, Tohegan Middle School, Tamanin Middle School, and Central Buck South High School, all closed their doors to undergo a thorough deep cleaning because of possible exposure to the coronavirus. High traffic areas, places where people would be touching, um, you know, the, 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 the desktops, things of that nature, so that we can keep everything clean in the buildings. Superintendent Dr. John Kopicki says he made the decision after learning late last night that a person from out of state who is now known to have the coronavirus attended a recent private gathering at a home in central Bucks County. The Bucks County Health Department says multiple children and staff who attended that private gathering either works at or attends one of the five closed schools. As a parent to think that, you know, each of my children could be exposed. Jamie Kerrigan's three children attend three of the five shutdown schools. We caught up with parents who were still able to send their kids to school at Doylestown Elementary School. My daughter has uh, type 1 diabetes, so she is definitely in that category um, of high risk. So um, uh, last night I went out to get hand sanitizer and the stores were all sold out. We took a look for ourselves and found empty shelves inside Acme Grocery Store in Doylestown, which are normally stocked with alcohol and hand sanitizer. You just kind of have to take one day at a time and um, not get freaked out about it. And we also want to mention that all school buses now both owned and contracted by the district will be thoroughly cleaned this weekend. The superintendent tells me that he plans to keep in constant contact with both state and county health officials to determine whether or not to reopen the schools on Monday. Live in Warrington in Bucks County, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Shante, thank you very much. Now